So my name is Deanna Roger. My creative background is in poetry and performance and facilitation. And I am at the Pervasive Media Studio building a object that will be in space, allowing people to re-see this world and see how full of poetry it is. One of the things that I do naturally, but also especially when I'm feeling sad or feeling like I have no power or agency, is I, I try to make a decision in every moment to see the world new and exciting, to find the sparkle and the delight in it. It's meant that I've got a spring in my step, it's meant that I'm excited to walk down a road I've always walked down because I, I spot a yellow flower hidden in the bush and I'm like, wow, and like there's, there's magic. It's in every moment we, to choose to look at something slightly differently, to really search for the beauty and the fortune of this world. And so perhaps that can do the same for some other people. So the idea is that there is a screen or a, a enclosure placed in situ and it's a clear screen so you can see through it into the world beyond. But when you touch it, if you touch different parts of it, a poem will be pulled up. And I've been testing this idea, so using kind of just A3 paper and little lines of poetry that I've written to see how many times people want to touch the screen and whether they want to press the same place and have the same bit of poetry come up. If I put a different piece of poetry in there, is there disappointment or sadness, is there loss? And also what people notice in the world to see whether I need to be thinking about just the big things, kind of the cars and the signs and the windows or the small things, a blade of grass, some seagull poo, a bone, just to see how much detail I need to place into this disruption to make it feel magic and to make it feel alive and to allow people to play with it and receive the world that they see every day new. So it's not just a house, like how is that an offering to how we find sanctuary within ourselves? It's not just a fence, it's how do these planks of wood unite and gather in strength in order to, to set clear boundaries for what they, they desire. And so these, this is a bit of the content that I've been putting into the poems. I've been thinking a lot about transitions and um, how we mark those transitions in big ways. So we've got kind of birthdays, for instance, is quite an obvious one, but um, there's all these different points in our lives where we change from one state to another that we don't necessarily pay attention to. And I certainly didn't, even something as big as becoming a parent or moving city, I'm not sure that I really marked it. And so a commute for me is kind of a microcosm of that where you're moving from one state to another, you're moving from your home life to work life and how could I interrupt those moments and offer a moment of stillness to look at how fortunate we are to exist in this world and to offer new thoughts that sparked new ideas and moments of realisation. My hope is that these things that I build can go into schools so that pupils and teachers can reimagine their, the, these buildings that they're in all the time, that it can be in hospitals so that these spaces can, can feel alive and beautiful and kind and reassuring, that it can travel to parts of our neighbourhoods that aren't as appreciated to find that beauty in, in that chaos. And I think that that's, like I, I always feel grateful for the people who saw the beauty in my chaos and believed in me and gave me poetry, you know, and saw me as a poem. And so that's what I, I guess I wanna do is, yeah, offer that to our spaces.